Okay, now we're going to take a look at a couple of examples of actual mechanical advantage, or AMA. Actual mechanical advantage tells us what's really happening because it might take friction into account. Now remember, friction is a force that opposes the motion, a motion. So that means you need to put in a little bit more force than normal. That means because you need a little bit more force, then your machine is not really as good as it could be. That means your actual mechanical advantage might be lower or equal to the perfect or ideal mechanical advantage. Again, if they are equal to each other, it means that there's no friction. What you really get is perfection. But because most things in our world have friction involved, then our machines are not quite as good as a perfect machine would be. This is why its advantage is a little bit less than the ideal mechanical advantage. The formula for calculating AMA is based on forces because friction is a force. AMA is normally equal to the force that comes out divided by the force I put in. Now because I have to overcome friction, I need to add a little bit more force to overcome that friction. So my total formula is AMA equals F out divided by F in plus the force of friction. Now if there's no friction, then the force of friction equals zero. So if force of friction is zero, then AMA is equal to F out over F in. So let's look at one example with no friction. So first one, I have a pulley system that lifts that lifts 3,000 newtons with only 300 newtons of effort. Because there's no friction, I'll just do the formula AMA equals F out divided by F in. F out means the total force without the machine needed. So without the machine, I had to lift 3,000 newtons. But then with the machine, I had to put in 300 newtons. The total actual mechanical advantage is 3,000 newtons divided by 300 newtons is 10. And newtons divided by newtons, as we saw earlier, cancel out, so there's no unit. The second example involves the use of friction. So what is the AMA of a ramp, or sorry, of a lever that I have 200 newtons, I have to lift 200 newtons with 15 newtons of force but 10 newtons of friction, my AMA would be 200 newtons over 15 newtons plus the 10 newtons of friction, which is 200 newtons divided by 25 newtons, and my actual mechanical advantage would be 8. So I have to make sure that I add the denominators first before I actually do my operation. This was actual mechanical advantage. 